Hey everyone, this is First Warren Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich. I wanted to do a brief but quick severe weather update on what's going to happen just today. If you didn't see my blog update or my article at WCNC.com, I go into detail uh, about what's going to happen over the next three days. But I want to focus on today's threat. And the first thing you notice right off the bat is we've got some ongoing showers and thunderstorms and a pretty significant severe weather threat uh, ongoing to the west. But over the Carolinas, it's a very interesting setup today. Um, we're going to go in closer here, and the first thing you notice, there's a boundary in here. It's a warm front. It's really warm and juicy to the south, and it's kind of cool and cloudy to the north. Uh, let me put on what we call CAPE. CAPE is just an a, a acronym for Convective Available Potential Energy. What the heck is that? It's just thunderstorm fuel. It's gas for thunderstorms to develop. And there's a lot developing to the south. Now, I'm going to throw a couple things on here. I've got temperatures right now. But let me show you dew points, and I'm also going to put, put on the surface winds. And the thing you notice is right in here, there's a boundary. It's a warm front. Winds to the north or northeast. Dew points are in the 40s and 50s. To the south, the winds are from right out of the south, and the dew points are in the 60s to near 70 in parts of the Midlands of South Carolina. So we've got a lot of instability, and at least at the low levels of the atmosphere, we've got wind shear, the wind changing direction in the lowest levels. What we don't really have so far today is deep layer shear. What I mean like that is a shear from the ground to a loft. And basically what I'm looking for for deep shear is how much do the winds change with height. And you can see we do have some, especially along the warm front, uh, but it's not what I would consider really strong shear. It's directional shear, but we don't have a lot of wind shear um, per se. But later this afternoon um, and into the afternoon and evening hours, if you look carefully, I'm going to turn off the, there's really strong southwest winds back to the west. This is at about 700 millibars, um, which is in the mid and upper levels of the atmosphere. Some of that wind shear is going to move in here and could give us organized cells or thunderstorms, we call them. Now, we don't expect widespread thunderstorm development this afternoon, but the ones that do develop could be supercells. And supercells are just a rotating thunderstorm. They don't all produce tornadoes, but they can. They often can produce some big time hail because when you get a rotating thunderstorm going up, it's like a screw, counterclockwise spin, drives air high up into the atmosphere and gives you the potential for some hail. When we look at some of the other parameters, this is the tornado ingredient um, parameter I like to look at from the SHREF, uh, the short range ensemble forecast from SPC. And essentially what you're looking for is anything in red is a significant chance of some tornadoes. And you can see a little 5% probability pops up by 2 o'clock this afternoon. But as we go towards 5 o'clock, it jumps to 15%. And then as we go into the evening hours, you can see the 15% kind of lingering here. And it's really along that warm front as we go into the afternoon hours. So right there, I think after 5 o'clock, I'm going to be watching the uh, visible satellite image down in here to see if we see uh, developing cumulus clouds and thunderstorm development. And again, anything that develops along this boundary could produce a brief tornado. But today's threat is pretty minimal compared to what's going to be heading our way tomorrow into tomorrow night. So today, stay weather aware, but it's actually the lowest threat of the next three days. I'll have updates throughout the afternoon into tonight, tomorrow. We'll keep you updated throughout the next couple of days. But just be prepared for severe weather. The storms that develop the next three days, they won't be your typical storms. All of them will have the potential to be severe. And on top of all this, widespread flooding threat by the time we get to Wednesday because we'll have three days of heavy downpours. And if you get a downpour one day and get a downpour the next day, and then on Wednesday everybody sees heavy rain, potential exists for some flooding. So I'll have another update later tonight. But until then, I'll see you at 4 o'clock on NBC Charlotte. Have a great Monday.